Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. With the recent release of Photoshop, that's version 23.5.0, there is a subtle but effective change done to subject selection. Specifically, I'm talking about if you hit the W key on your keyboard, you of course will get one of three selection tools. The object selection, quick selection, or the magic wand tool. With any of those three tools active for the past couple of years, you've had a couple buttons up here, select subject and select and mask. What is new is this little downward facing arrow. If I click on that, you could see there's two options, device, quick results, cloud, detailed results. All that means is if you're on device, it's going to work as it always did. It's going to use your computer's power to compute the selection. If you use cloud, it's going to use Adobe's computers to compute the selection. Now I've been messing around with this the past couple days and I found in just about every instance, Adobe's computers do a better job. But overall, neither choice does a perfect job. With each of them, I have had to refine results. I'm going to demonstrate that for you today. Let's have this image here. We have three business people, right? And I wanna select them. They're the subject. I'm going to use device first. So this is the way it always worked for the past couple of years and I'll click select subject. Now my computer is computing the selection. The marching ants show us the selection. You can see it didn't select all of her thumb. It didn't select part of the iPad. It didn't do a great selection between his arm and his body. It didn't do great selection between his arm and her leg. It didn't go all the way up here. It messed up around her elbow. And other than that, it looks pretty good. I still need to refine this selection. It kind of messed up in here too. So let's get rid of this. I'll just hit Command D to deselect Control D on a PC. And let's use Adobe's computer. So I'm gonna to go to this downward facing arrow, click on Cloud Detailed Results. Now you of course, will need an active internet connection for this to work. And I found that sometimes it works very, very quickly and sometimes it takes a really long time. It really depends on the um, how busy Adobe servers are. So let's just double check, we're on cloud, detailed results, we'll click select subject. And you'll see that a little progress box will pop up with a progress bar and it's saying what it's doing and it's going fairly quickly and it did our selection. All right, let's see. It did a lot better around the iPad here. Did a lot better between his arm and her body. It did a lot better between his arm and his body. Did a lot better between his arm and her leg. Did, eh, it still messed up around her elbow, so I'd have to fix that. And one other thing it did is it deselected this part right here, and that's wrong. It did not do that when I used my computer to compute the selection. Right here is really the woman on the right, that's her right arm, and it's thinking it's a space. So I would have to fix that, like that, and then I would have to come in and hold in the option key on my Mac and come and fix that. So there is some fixing to be doing, and with both instances, whether I did it on my computer or used Adobe servers in the cloud to do the selection, I would still have to select and mask, as I normally would. You can see I'd have to fix like around her hair. I would probably refine hair and then maybe what I found to decontaminate colors works real well. So I'd have to fix around her hair still and stuff like that. I'm going to cancel out of that. I'm going to show you another example, which will make this maybe a bit more clear uh, because there's no busy background. We just have this uh, lady, another stock photo, just she's pointing up. She's in front of a seamless paper background. So we're going to go up here. We're going to go to this thing and make sure that we're on device. We'll do my device first. Select subject. So we look at the selection. It did okay. I kind of missed maybe part of her knuckle right there. It did not get this little gap that is between her arm and her shoulder at all. And I don't know if that's a gap. I don't think that actually is. So if I go to select and mask, you could see her hair and over here. Now this is easy enough to fix. I could use the refine edge brush and I could come in and just kind of brush in here. And I could refine the hair by clicking there. And then I could decontaminate colors, which will help the hair as well. So that really wasn't that difficult uh, to do. But let's try Adobe Server. So I'm going to click Cancel and get rid of our marching ants by hitting Command D on my Mac, Control D on a PC. Go to this little drop down, do Cloud, Detailed Results, Select Subject. 
and let it do its thing. Now again, we got this uh, progress box and there's our selection. It did select between her hand and her shoulder and it looks like it got her maybe knuckle there. It's hard to tell. Let's go to select a mask. And you can see it still isn't that great around her hair, but it did okay here. But you know, I still have to come in probably and paint in here and then do refine hair and decontaminate colors. So it maybe was slightly better, but not, not like perfect either. I even had to do like that. So um, I think it's something that's a welcome addition because um, they update Photoshop maybe once every four to six weeks and they could improve this, right? They inc could improve subject selection every four to six weeks. The thing is, if you upload it to their servers and let their servers do the selection, they'll always have like the latest algorithms, the latest version. So it will always be updated. So you'll always have the best selection, the most available uh, selection tools done with their servers. So if you have an, a very, you know, a good internet connection, um, I would just use this exclusively because it typically, from what I found, gives a better overall selection more consistently. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs>